is the palette we're going to be using the huda beauty desert dusk palette tools that you'll need um two eyeshadow brushes i have a precise blending brush um that is good for creases i also have a regular crease brush and then i have a more fluffier blending brush and lastly i have um my cut creasers i use these for um, my eye primer. I'm going to use this small flat head um, eyeshadow brush too small as well. angle brush will come in handy for this look as well. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking my matte paint pot painterly and I'm priming my eye. So after I prime my crease area, I'm going to take my fluffy brush right here and um, blend in the color Blazing from the Huda Beauty Desert Palette. After that is blended out, I'm gonna take my crease blending brush, which is the Morphe MB13 brush, and blend into my crease um, with a darker color. Um, right now I'm gonna use the color amber and go more into my crease. Next we're gonna begin cutting the crease with our precision brush right here. I'm using the Morphe M431 brush. Um, you can definitely use any kind of precision brush that you have to cut your crease with. So the color that we're going to use in the palette is this one right here, which is Oud. So I've learned whenever I cut a crease that I just start off with a small line. It can be messy, um, you'll end up blending that out anyway. But I'll start off with a small line and then I'll start to go um, back through it. Just to I'm create. just going to take my more fluffier brush and just blend out um, my crease I just created to kind of get rid of the imperfections and to make it more of a smoother contrast. Um, a little side note, you don't really have to pay a lot of mind to the under blending right here because when you cut your crease even more with the concealer, you're just going to take that away anyways and add more color over it. So now I'm going to go back into my paint pot or whatever eyeshadow base that you have and be um, begin creating my line over my crease. And then I'll start with my crease. concealer is placed I'm gonna go back into my palette and use this color blood moon which is good for Halloween I'm going trying to stay with the the subject and apply it all over my lid and um, upper crease area of where I put my concealer at I'm going to use um, this color Cosmo, which is this loose glitter right here, and apply it over my um, Blood Moon. After that, I'm going to take my angle brush and apply it in Celestial and apply that to my lower lash line right here from right there. that's done I'm gonna go back into the palette and use just a regular eyeshadow brush and use the color desert sand to apply on my brow bone so are you ready for the fun part 
Um, now I'm going to use my eyeliner and create my spider web look. I'm using e.l.f. Cosmetics eyeliner. Um, you can use any eyeliner that you have. I preferably, um, if you are just starting this look out and trying it, go for a liquid eyeliner that is kind of shaped like a pencil so you can have more of a grasp on it and you can be a little bit more familiar to things. So starting with the eyeliner, I'm just going to apply it on my eye as I would normally until I get out here to this area. So I just dot it myself. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up um, from right here to right there, just kind of go up in your crease area. That's kind of like a little bit of a guide. Like that. And then you're going to go down a little bit. Like that. And we're going to go in the middle. Like that. So I'm just going to thicken up this line right here. lines have been created this is when we're going to start connecting I'm um, going vertically instead of horizontally so we're gonna kind of mimic spider webs and start from from the base and go out so I can kind of show you better I can tell you And there it goes. If you wanted to, you can add um, more webs to this look. I just like to keep it a little bit simple and just add like a little sprinkle of Halloween per se. Um, but it's kind of up to you where you want to place it and if you want to make it bigger or smaller. But this is it. So I went back and highlighted, also added my lashes and added some mascara to my lower lash line and upper lash line. And this is the completed look. So I hope you guys all enjoy. And um, don't forget to hit that red button below.